we already knew we were getting a new Spider-Man movie in 2021. But then this morning, Sony Pictures dropped a bit of a bomb on us. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about that film announcement. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I got a little bit of an update on Spider-Man. Well, a lot of bit of an update, actually. But first, make sure you get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away a copy of JLA 1 million. In order to get in on the giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber, leave an awesome comment, and smash that like button. Well, we already knew a third Spider-Man movie was coming to the MCU in 2021. But earlier today, Sony Pictures added another new film to the slate. As you know, right now, Sony has two movies in the Spider-Man universe coming out, Morbius and Venom 2, both scheduled to appear later this year. But then, earlier today, they added a third film. An untitled Sony-slash-Marvel movie has been confirmed for October the 8th, 2021. So, what movie did Sony just add to the slate? Well, as we know, the Spider-Man film comes out in July of that same year. It could be almost anything. A lot of people are talking it very well may be Kraven the Hunter. We heard some recent rumors about that film, and it would fit in that slot pretty nicely. It also could be one of their other solo films that have been rumored, like Madam Web, or even The Silver Sable. But there are a few other ideas out there. Now this is where the story does take an interesting turn though, because a new rumor claims that Spider-Woman will be this solo movie. And we do know Sony is looking to put a female character on the screen, and they have several in the works. Madam Web, Black Cat, Silver Sable, and Jackpot are all heroes that have been talked about in the past. Spider-Woman kind of fits this role perfectly, and is a character fans have talked about for a really long time. Also, it's pretty interesting because it's believed that the Jessica Drew character is actually shared between Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures, but they have a fairly interesting split. Marvel can portray her as a secret agent, or Sony Studios can portray her and her abilities as Spider-Woman. This is kind of similar to how Quicksilver worked, where Marvel and Fox both used him, but Kevin Feige couldn't call him a mutant. There is one other possibility I don't want to close this video out without pointing to. For several months, there's been some ongoing rumors that a Spider-Gwen movie could be in the process of being developed. Now, Spider-Gwen was pretty popular in the Into the Spider-Verse animated film and obviously is going to appear in the sequel, so this wouldn't surprise me. But all the current rumors and everything right now haven't pointed to Spider-Gwen, they've pointed to Spider-Woman. But I don't think that's an impossibility. The character is super popular. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other characters this could be coming from Sony. They have so many Spider-Man characters in the works. You mentioned several in this video. It could almost be anything. But I think it would be a mistake to overlook the Spider-Man movie that was being released just a few weeks beforehand. Tying one to another would be pretty smart marketing, and Sony is looking to make this their premier franchise. I mean, I don't really think they have any other ones left, do they? Now, the Jessica Drew version of Spider-Woman has been around since 1977, when she premiered in Marvel Spotlight number 32 in February of that year. She was created by Archie Goodwin and Marie Severin. Now, she's not the only person ever to be Spider-Woman. There's actually a laundry list of other characters who have portrayed the part, but I don't suspect they'll go with any of those versions. I suppose there's an off chance they'd go with the Julia Carpenter version since she kind of had a black costume similar to Venom, but I'm highly doubting that. In any case, I'm really curious on what you guys think Sony is going to bring to the big screen for this date. I feel pretty strongly it could be Spider-Woman, but like I said, they have so many characters in the works, it could be almost anybody. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.